Hey friends, it's me, Icy, and I am back in vacation. And as you can see, a little bit thrown off on my days because I forgot yesterday was Tuesday. However, we are here on a random Wednesday, dropping some content, and yeah, let's get into the video. So as you can tell, this is a continuation from last week's Shrimp and Grits video. And what you just saw was me um, with some baked salmon top of my grits and some shrimp. And in this video, we're going to get into fried lobster and fried shrimp. So, yeah, let's get into preparing these lobster tails and these large colossal shrimps. So in the prior video, I did the same technique to my lobster, um, which was the seafood bake. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. However, I'll do the concept again here. So what I'm doing is cutting off the tip of the lobster's tail, like those little tips there, and then I'm cutting all the gills off. Are they gills or their feet? Um, I don't know, but we're just gonna chop them off. Really simple, I'm going all around the lobster tail. I'm just taking all of that off. Yeah, look how clean. So, in this technique, we're going to take some heavy kitchen shears. I recommend some heavy-duty ones and chop in all the way down the back of the lobster so that we can expose the meat and then pull it out. I like to crack the sides if it's sturdy enough, which this one wasn't, um, and then just pop it right on um, open from the inside, clean whatever nastiness is inside of that out, and then pulling all my lobster meat out and laying it flat on top of the back of the tail, the tail shell, yeah. So now that we have this all cleaned out, we can go on and do the rest of our lobster tails. Also, I did clean my lobsters as well. I cleaned it with some cold water and some lemon slices. Just run with a lemon on the lobster tails themselves and rinse them off with cold water because they were gritty. Um, and that lemon also gets the fishiness off of, you know, the seafood that you're cooking with. So now that I have all my lobsters cut down the middles, cleaned out, wiped down, and patted dry, I'm going to season them. Now I'm gonna use some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, a little onion powder. Yes, stuff that we don't like to still in this house. Yes. Um, some paprika and some obey. Oh yeah, some parsley as well. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't season the other side of the lobster, but it's going to season batter and season wet batter and season dry batter, so we should be fine. Well, we were fine, it was good. <laughs> So for our wet batter, we're going to do some flour and some Bud Light. All you gotta do is just whisk in your beer into your flour until you get the consistency that's kinda like pancake batter, but a little thicker. I'll show you what I mean. I want to take this time to shout out a mukbanger that I watch faithfully. Um, her name was Eat Spicy with Tea. Girl, I knew I, I knew I liked you. I wanna say a different word, but I knew I liked you. Um, from your mukbangs um and then when i saw how you make your beer better seafood i was like i knew we were girlfriends because yes okay so inside the wet batter we're going to do some saison and a little bit of paprika inside the dry batter we're going to do saison paprika smoked paprika onion powder garlic powder salt pepper and some obey now as i'm doing the voiceover i'm like what did i just add oh it was italian seasoning i like cooking with herbs um and then a dry herb that i like to use is italian seasoning so i just added it in and see if i like it this time so now we're going to take just the meat of our lobster tail and dip it into our wet batter what you want to do is shake off or even force off all the excess um batter because you don't want your dry batter to be clumpy it happened to me anyway but yeah the best thing to do is to dip it in a wet batter, get all that excess batter off, and then put it in your dry batter, and then let it sit and rest on like a plate or like some parchment paper or something. Yeah. Get that baby fully combined, fully coated. So I'm just going to continue the same method with the other two lobsters that I have, and then I'm going to do the same with my shrimp. Just dipping that shrimp in the batter, the wet batter, and then again in the dry batter. And my shrimp and lobster are seasoned the same exact way. I did want to point out, look at my dry batter. See how it's a little clumpy and it's kind of hard to get some of the dredge on those shrimp? That's because a lot of that wet batter got into my flour and it doesn't leave enough room for, you know. 
commercial break so icy accessories we are giving you guys 10 percent off just because you're here watching babe your food's done do not forget it the code is i am babe 10 and you can get that on all of our items we have lovely tennis bracelets tennis rings double stone rings and our tennis earrings please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video Ooh, child now we're frying little known fact about me as much as i love cooking i do not like frying but i did see this method somewhere and i liked it so i did it and now i'm telling you guys what i saw them do was take the item that was of course about to get fried and drag it for about three back and forth and then lay it in the bed i'm um, laying in the oil i don't know what it does but it works and i like it so i'm telling you guys yeah look how golden and pretty that is mm. on the first flip okay i see i see you <laughs> i do not like frying so this is really exciting for me if you don't do that for yourself i don't know what to tell you but i pack myself up in the kitchen as do bae okay time to assemble we're going to take our grits and lay them on the plate the bowl whatever you got and then we're going to add in our creole sauce if you have not watched my last video how to make my creole sauce please do it now you know finish this video and then go do it because that sauce is so bomb it goes on so many different things but i like it a bunch of grits um so i laid down my lobster laid down my shrimp and added some more creole sauce on top and then just finished it off with some parsley you know i am about my parsley mm. let's get into this dish look how pretty <laughs> friends we gotta stop meeting like this i'm frying stuff i'm making grits i'm making all types of fat and foods and i'm mm, i like it i'm trying to go on a diet i'm trying to go, go on keto so um y'all can get this content but some things might be keto so stay tuned <laughs> this babe plate babe your food done 